Good morning. Hey, everyone. Well, I'm rested. Had a nice break. We didn't even come in this craft room all weekend. We cleaned the house on Saturday. We chilled for the rest of the day. We played some games. Um, yesterday, I did some more cleanup. And I just didn't feel like going live. So that's why I didn't go live yesterday. I just wasn't in the mood for it. So, but here I am today. And I came in my craft room this morning and I built this cute, cute countertop. So, this is the counter that's going to sit some chocolates. And this one here, I glued all the stuff into the, the cabinet. So it's all done. This is so cute. So much chocolate stuff. But anyway, let's carry on. Let's carry on. So now that I made this cabinet, I have to make chocolate cake. Oh, okay. Chocolate cake. Three pieces. All right. Well, let's cut out some more stuff. So these are number 12-1, A9-12-1. Right here. I got a bunch of more houses in. But I don't want to show you guys till I get a nice group amount of people here. So far, I have Zippo people. All right. So we're going to make chocolate cake. Yum. Even though I don't like chocolate. I'm not a big chocolate fan. We rarely eat chocolate. Once in a blue moon... I'll crave it, I'll have some, and then I'm good for another six months to a year. So, yeah, we had a really good rest. It was nice. Watched a lot of videos yesterday. I even cooked supper early. Like I put it, I didn't cook it. I got it all prepped early. So when supper time came, all I had to do was turn the burner and the oven on. That was easy peasy. I made prime rib steak, uh, cheesy mass mashed potatoes and cheesy broccoli and cauliflower it was really good really really good today we're gonna have pork chops wow this is pretty small That is interfering with me to cut this. Yeah, I got some really gorgeous houses in. Oh my gosh, they're going to be so much fun. Oh. Jeff's got his one called Jason's Room. Pretty cool. He has to build the computer chair, too. That looks like fun. Okay. We got this done. Now, just going to wind these up because they do get glued. But 
if you at least start them to roll them a bit, they go together easier. Probably not rolling them right, but that'll work. There. And they get glued. Oh my gosh, these are super tiny. All right, I'm going to use some glitter glue. Maybe. Ooh. I thought this pin was supposed to protect this glue from hardening. Well, obviously, it don't work very good, does it? Hmm. All right, let me get this one back up here. A little glue on there. Done. Hey, Clint. Hi, Rajul. How are you guys? Came off. Get on there. Wow. Pudgy fingers. So hard. One sec, Clint. One second. There you go, Clint. Oh my gosh, this is so messed. I think I got these glued pretty good. Oh, Rajul, I'm sorry to hear that, but happy birthday. 
what are you going to do for your birthday today? And what are you going to buy? I'm so sorry about your dad, hon. I'll have to send out prayers. Hey, Clint. Hi, Ru hey, Ruby. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Ugh. Been finding this arthritis for a while, but I'm all better. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> So what's up? What did you want to show me? What do you think of my craft room? Don't go too fast. Wow, you really organized. Yeah, and there's the top part right here. Wow. Nice. Who did all that? My mom and dad came over, and uh, we're having a yard sale in the spring, and I got rid of a bunch of stuff that I didn't want anymore and made a bunch of stuff to go in the yard sale. And Nice. Clint, good for you. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm like, yay, finally a yard sale. <laughs> yeah. Finally, time to clean up your craft room. Yeah, I was like, I'm getting tired of seeing this stuff everywhere. So I just took off some stuff that I didn't want and threw it in the garbage. And right. And all that stuff. Good job. Really good job. <laughs> Thank you. How's your day coming along? Pretty good. That's good. Yes, sir. And I also made this. It's a uh, wall hanging. Oh, Rajul. She's all alone. Her husband and son are in India. Oh. Oh. I wish there was something I could do for you, Rajul. Oh, time to take this off because it's not working for me. Oh, gee. I can't get the blue out. <laughs> Is it stuck in there? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a mess. Ugh, I had to clean out my glue bottle. It was gunky. You know how you put you know how you put your pens inside your um your um ball pens, whatever you want to call them to keep it from drying out and stuff on the inside of the bottle? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well well mine was nasty. I was like, uh uh, no way. I couldn't get the glue off, it was dried up. I'm like, that's it, I'm cleaning it out. Yeah, you gotta do this. Because this one here has hardened glue in it, big time. Yeah, mine had hardened glue on the on the side of my tacky bottle that I was using. Mm -hmm. I was like Jiminy Cricket, so I had to take all the hot dry glue off, clean out that top bottle where it scraped out at on the inside, cleaned out all that gunk that was in. I'm like, I ain't doing that no more. Hang on a second, Ruby. I got to plug in my phone. Uh-huh. I'm not going nowhere. Okay. There we go. 
been coming out flowers for a project I'm working on. Ew! Ooh. Not cool. Ow. Careful. Don't want to risk your fingers and bleeding. <laughs> wow, that's some major dry glue. I just don't know how I'm going to get it out. And these are very sharp tweezers. And they're not even getting it out. I can kind of see it in there. I definitely don't want to poke my finger in with this pin. <laughs> nope. I've done it several times and it hurts like crazy. Yes, it does. Mama goes, why do you keep poking yourself? I'm like, oh, no, I'm trying to be hey, careful. Sandy. Where did I put it? Right here. Yeah, I got my room done, but here's the bad part. I got to take everything out of my room and put it in the center of the living room. Why? Because they're going to repaint my room in a different color. Oh, well, that'll be nice. Renaissance. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, my mom's wanting her house painted on the inside, so we're gonna do that. And then when that's done, I'll be able to put everything back in here. Yeah. Paint don't take paint long it. to dry. Uh-uh. They're gonna paint it gray. Nice. When are they doing that? Sometime this spring. My uncle's got the. Michael and I guess he and my cousin I guess are gonna paint these rooms and everything. My mom right. wants my mom wants the living room, the kitchen, and her room all white and mine gray. Yeah, but yours is nice. It'll look nice with the gray because gray is pretty neutral. Yeah, and everything that I have on my walls, I want to take down. And uh, except for this painting that I have that Martha sent me, it's very cute. I, I look at it every day. Well, almost had to ask it. Eh? Oops. <laughs> that should clean it out. I'm tired of fighting with it. Yes, please clean it out. So I'm, I'm going live number, uh, not number, oh my gosh. February 2nd, I'm making these um, flower bouquets to go in my vases that I have up here. Oh, nice. Very nice. There it comes. I knew eventually it would get out. You'll see shit in there. I was telling my mom that, that funny thing that you say to when Dada tells you to shut up, you're making me hungry and stuff. I told my mom that funny thing. I said, she was, Ruby was making this chocolate house and stuff. And I said, Shut up, Ruby. You're making me hungry. <laughs> yep. For chocolate? Yeah. You like chocolate? Oh, of course. I love I love Hershey bars and uh, Reese's and Hershey Kisses and all kinds of things. All kinds of things. Hello, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. How are you, hon? Where did I put that flower? There it is. Four. Oh, keep dropping these things everywhere. Oh. I know I'm boring you guys, but I have to clean this out. It is so bad. I still can't even see a hole. There's so much dried glue in here. This uh, really you don't bore me. You don't bore me at all. <laughs> I have to clean mine out once in a while. 
I can see it right there, see? It's only coming out in little tiny pieces, and it's frustrating me. Uh-oh. Where's the dang hole? I'll be right back. I need some coffee. Yuck. My mouth is dry as a horse. Ugh. All right. Go ahead. Oh, there it comes. There comes some. Holy cow. Knew it was in there. A little bit more. This rubbing alcohol is a miracle drug. <laughs> Did you get your bag, Jedab? Did they come to you yet? Cleanse my mom. So I'm on bed, okay? Okay. <coughs> wow, it's a really good um, dose of time. Thank you. You're welcome. Say hi to Ruby, Erin. Hi, Erin. It's Ruby. Say hi. Hi, Aunt Ruby. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good. She hasn't been feeling good for the last couple of days. She's been constipated. But I'm fine now. <laughs> oh, good girl. Yes, uh, I know. I know the feeling. I had that happen to me one once, and I'm like, ugh, never again. I was just making sure I didn't. What time is it? It's like 8.24 a.m. In, in the, the morning. morning? Uh-huh. Dang, I must be having a pretty good day today. With my brother and Aunt Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <sighs> yeah, she loves you, Ruby. She talks about you all the time. Aw, thank you, Aaron. So say, have you talked to Aunt Ruby? I was like, no, the only time I to her is when she goes live. This is so, I, look, I still can't get to the hole. I could push the pin, but I can't see the damn hole. Uh -oh. This is really frustrating. Getting the flu out. She has dry glue inside of her lid and can't get the glue out. Uh, oh, does she need my help? I can come over there and pull the glue out of her hand. <laughs> I can see it. See, it's right there. Come on. You pick me. Oh, and I just dragged it back in with the pen. There we go. Holy cow, <sighs> there is a hole. What are you I doing? can see it. <sighs> Good lord, just get that out. Ooh. All right. We are good. <laughs> right, come out. Ooh. Oh, God, this thing is so oh, look. Oh, uh, perfect. What? There. I it's think a pure. Yay! Ruby did it. It's a perfect. No, nope, there's still blobs of gunk in it. Ew. Jeez. Oh, Dang it. Oh. 
Well, that's going to have to do. How's Martha doing? I haven't seen her for a while. She's good, I think. I haven't talked to her for a few days. Oh, that's what I wanted. So this 99% alcohol cleans all the glue off of these tools. It's nice. I'm excited to see Ruby. So happy. I got a shoe bag coming in. I'm going to put all my tools in it. Oh, a shoe bag? Uh-huh. It's got like 16 pockets in it. Oh, nice. I know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm putting all my tools in that and uh, my markers and stuff. Nice. Oh, Claire, tell me, Ruby, that I was in a hospital that I had a... Oh, Erin was in the hospital a couple of times. She had a... Um, um, heart pounding complications. Heart pounding. She, she was having heart complications, I guess, and it was... First. Oh no! Is she feeling yeah. better now? My uh, yeah, my grandmother passed away in the end of July, and um, she's been having hard times, hard times and stuff. And I told her, I said, Aaron, if you keep having stress, you're gonna cause yourself to have a heart attack, and you're gonna end up back in the hospital. And I don't want to see that happen to you. Well, I no. didn't go this time. No, you got to take care of yourself. Yeah, you got to take All care right. of yourself. Can I borrow your earbuds, Clint? Can I have one? I don't know how. I can stand next to you if you want me to. <laughs> Hang on, Aaron. I'm trying to figure out how to get this untangled. Oh, okay. yeah. Carry. Oh. Uh, Dirty rat. Come on. <laughs> Get out of there. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> Will it reach? Okay. I can stand next to you, Clint, if you want me to. How do they want you to do this? Oh, G4. I need G4. I was going to say, those aren't going to fit. <laughs> those will. All right. Don't do that, Aaron. You're gonna shake my whole entire phone off the table. Oops. Okay. <laughs> what is she making? She's making a dollhouse. Dollhouse for I don't know. Is it for me? A dollhouse? It's for it's for my living room display. It's for her living room display. Oh, can I have one of your earbuds? One of my earbuds? Yes. Said so I'm a nice sister today. Mm hmm Hi, Ruby. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, shoot. All the glue came out. That's okay. What's... How's the dollhouse coming along? It's coming along. Slowly but surely. You can do it. We're getting on you. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. 
Aww. Oh, that little piece go right there. How was your day, Aunt Ruby? My day's going good. It's pretty early still. It is here too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just lost. It's too early for me today. <laughs> Why? I don't. Because you know I get up early today, so that way, so that way I don't oversleep myself like I did yesterday. Yesterday. Well, yeah, you don't want to waste the days away. I know, I know. How's the coronavirus over there? Oh, uh, it's pretty bad. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty bad here, and ugh. I hate coronavirus. They're talking about um about some new virus going out or something. I don't know. Well, it's not it's a new like virus. Canned. It's the same virus, only it's mutating. And what happens now is it's more contagious. That's all. It just can be it can Whoa. be caught a lot easier than the other virus. That's Ooh. All. I don't like coronavirus because, you know, my friend works at my old kidney doctor's office and she had to get tested for coronavirus and she don't have it. Thank God for that. Ooh, ooh. And then um, I had to get mine done before I had my um, colonoscopy. Yeah, because I had to get tested twice. One was in the nose and one down. um. And in one nose area, and then when I got admitted to the hospital, I had to get um, the the same thing, the corona test, and they did it both nose. Oh, my gosh. I hate that. Oh, my gosh. It makes me sneeze after, after that. It makes me sneeze. I'm like, uh-oh, here it comes. And then I'll start sneezing really hard, and it hurts my head sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it's not fun, that's for sure. Because my it's my allergies that makes me sneeze all the time. Because I take medicine at night for it, and then all of a sudden I keep sneezing and sneezing. I'm like, what is going on with you? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just tired and didn't want to get up today. Maybe I'm just... And then... The last two nights ago, well, actually two nights, I keep sneezing and almost had a headache, and I and I sneezed really hard. It ain't fun at all. No, not at all. All right, there's my chocolate cupcakes. Those are no, so fresh. No. Ooh. Chocolate cupcakes. Mm. Now you're talking about that. Mm, that's so good. Mm, someone's making me hungry for food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna set these to the side. Let the oh jeez, let the glue dry maybe. I haven't seen you forever. How you been doing lately? Oh, I've been doing... I, I haven't come online for a few days. I took a break. I took a little break, oh. Gary. I know. I know. Every, every, every time I hear my brother talking, I'm like... I can hear it through the walls and stuff. I'm like, oh, I wonder who is he talking to? Wonder if he's talking to an Aunt Ruby or something. I'm mean, like, uh, and then I was going in almost to the going to the kitchen. My brother says, Aaron, do you want to come in my room? I was like, sure. <laughs> he invited me in today. Nice. You have a good brother. Yep. And you know, my brother, he 
you know what's funny? Sometimes he will, after me, he will say, Amy, when are you going to make those cookies? I'm like, I don't know. Let me think about it. And then I'll let you know. Well, he keeps after me <laughs> about those Christmas cookies. And I said, well, okay, okay, I'll make them. And then, and then he says, where's my cookie? I'm like, well, I didn't make those yet. <laughs> I always help my mom in the kitchen sometimes making um sometimes I make rice krispies or cookies or um let me see cookies and sometimes I help make dinner sometimes and you know sometimes I help my mom cook dinner sometimes but during the night you know, sometimes me and my mom stay <clears throat> late because we watch this brand new show. I love it. It is called the, um, how you seen the movie of the, on Lifetime is the Army Wives. How you seen it? No. No. Oh, not. Ruby, you should watch. You should watch the first one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was I, so fun to watch it. And then the second, we're on number four. We're on number four season. And then, you know, because um, because I stayed up with my mom the other night. And then I was so tired. I thought I was going to fall asleep on the couch. I'm like, no, Aaron, don't do it. Don't do it. And then I went in my, my room. And then I was walking down the hall. And then... My brother scared the crap out of me. <laughs> he almost gave me a heart attack. I'm like, I looked down and he was like, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing. You know, going to bed. And then um, and then my cat was so loving. Yeah. Come on, Eve. Get out of there. There we go. And do you drink coffee during, do you drink coffee during the day or night? Me? Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, uh, Debbie, I miss you guys too. But it was a nice little break. It really was. Yeah. Well, Mom, she, she'll get cranky if she doesn't have her coffee. Oh, my oh, gosh. Speaking Me too. Of coffee, it really. Be yes. You know what I. Get to my mom's cup. Oh my gosh, she was so upset with me. Uh oh. I am. Um, I would blanket on my shoulders because you know I get cold. I spilled <laughs> my mom's coffee all over the counter, all over the and then it was all over the floor. I'm like, oops. My mom said, Honey, you have to be very careful. I'm like, I know. I'm such a clutch sometimes. <laughs> We all do that, Aaron. Oh, the accidents happen. Like Ruby does. She'll have an accident in her crack room. Oopsies. Uh-oh. What'd you do? <laughs> like Nothing she'll spill her. Happened. Like, um, she's I've clumsy too, like so. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. You know, my mom, she don't. Sometimes I make her coffee, but, you know, once in a while, she's like, where's my coffee? I'm like, I'll go get it. I'll go get it, make it, whatever. And Oh, I woke up one morning, Ruby. This is awful. I woke up one morning. Mom, I was sitting on the couch, and she had this look on her face. I'm like, uh, Mom, what's wrong? She goes, where's my coffee and my cigarettes? I'm like, ooh, stingy. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, should I run or should I hide? She goes, I need my coffee. I'm like, Mom, if you want coffee, go make some. It's right there in the kitchen. She goes, where in the hell is my cigarettes? I'm like, right there on the table. She goes, I need to get some more. And I was like, ugh. I was like, you better hide in my room until you feel better. So I ran back in my room. Two hours there, she knocks on my door, and she goes, I brought it back. I'm going to get my coffee at, at store. I'm grouchy. I'm like, ugh. 
You know, I, I was, never. And then she came back home. She had a smile on her face. I'm like, uh, Mom, you feeling better? She goes, what are you talking about? I was like, you're acting a little crazy this morning because you didn't have your coffee and your cigarettes. She goes, yeah, I get grouchy when I don't have my stuff. I'm like, ooh. You know what? My mom was so guilty the other day. <laughs> my mom was so guilty the other day. I'm going to tell you why. Because my mom and I, I was sitting on the couch. Ooh. Did I just throw something away I shouldn't have? No, you're you're good. Okay. Um, great. Anyway, so I was sitting on the couch, and my mom was, like, messing on her phone or something. And she says, Aaron, I got something confess. I'm like, uh-oh, what you do? <laughs> I said, what you do? She says, well, you might be happy. I was like, why am I going to be happy? She ordered monocles online that I didn't know. She was quiet and quiet and quiet. At the same time, I'm like, Mom, what are you doing? She Ignore me. She told me that she was updating her phone and come to find out she would order pizza <laughs> from monocles. <clears throat> you know, my favorite place at monocles is this uh, mozzarella sticks. You know, my favorite instead of those um, pretzels, breadsticks. I don't like those pretzels, breadsticks. Yuck. Well, anyway... So, so I would eat the whole pizza by myself if I could, but I have to share because, you know, sometimes my mom can order things online or go to um, McDonald's. I have, I have five fries. I ate five fries. They were so good at McDonald's. Oh, it was so good. And then, um. And then I, and then the last time I tried to give cat top of the my cheeseburger without cheese because she can't have cheese. Well, um, so I tried to give it to her. Come on. She looked down on my look on the bowl like, what is that? I said, "Top of this cheeseburger from McDonald's," and she Oops. will not eat it. I'm like, oh my gosh! I tried everything to make there her make her feel better. And then she won't eat her cat food. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'm going crazy if something, something happens. But, you know, I don't get too much crazy. But, um, but you know, I would be like, Tabitha, you got to eat your food, honey. Come on. You can eat your food. And I tell you, in the mornings and at night, she will play with her lammers and I can hear all the way through the living room. And I'm like, Tabitha, what are you doing? All you hear is this. Wah, wah, mama. Thumb. <laughs> thumb over. She will. Some, sometimes my cat. Ooh. She make me so nervous. Every time I go to bed. She was like. Sorry, I'm like. Tabitha, what's the matter with you? She had her lammers all, all the way in the hall, and she woke me up one night, and I'll be like, Tabitha, what are you doing? What are you trying to say? And then she followed me right to the bedroom, and she's standing by the bathroom door while I'm going to the bathroom break. That's how my cat likes it for some reason. I don't know why. Sometimes <laughs> my cat follows me in the bathroom, the kitchen, to the living room, to the bedroom. I'd be like, okay, top of the what do you need? And then I was going going to the kid. Bye, Cindy. Take care, hon. Um so and then sometimes she would get really grouchy, like really loud meow. Like, what are you wanting? And then she complains, Meow, I'm hungry, girl. Where's my food at breakfast? I'm like, okay, okay, I'll go get your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And sometimes she will wake me up during the morning time sometimes, but now I'm be like, okay, I'm up, I'm up. What do you need? She will be sassy. My cat is a sassy person. Oh my goodness. Oops. Didn't want to do that. How's the how's the dollhouse coming along? Still working good. Coming along good so far. It's good so pretty far. Pretty good.
you know, sometimes whenever I get really bored, I go in the living room and work on my junk journal. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I take breaks in between. Mm -hmm. And and then after that, I'm peachy, peachy good. <laughs> That's good. You need I to keep myself busy. Yes, you know, you me and, we came home from Casey's, you know, we had to put the airs in the tire. And, you know, we walked in the door, we go straight to my bedroom, organize my room, whatever needs to sell, just sell it. I don't care what you do with it. Well, I helped my mom do that. And she's like, how am I supposed to put this container red bin in the drawer? She tried to put that thing right in the in the <clears throat> side it and when not sit in there. I'm like, Mom, how come you cannot fit that little thing in there? She says, I don't know, it will not fit. I'll make it work all right. I'm like, okay. You know, helped her out with that and get rid of my old stuff that I don't want anymore. But I had to keep some good memories of it because you know. Since my grandma's not here with with the, with me anymore, you know, I keep her her dog's um, little white bear toy that I still have that in there, um, all the good good stuff that I have in my room, you know, like organize it, put stuff that I want, put it on the bed if I want to keep it, put it back in the container, and. After that, I was good to do crafting. That's wonderful. And if you need advice on crafting, you can ask me or Ruby. She knows it all, don't you, Ruby? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say I know it all. I'm not a know it all. <laughs> Oh, I can be. <laughs> you know that first time when I first, um, you know what happened to me one time, Aunt Ruby? It is not funny at all. I fell outside in front of the, um, right in front of the phone pool. Focus. Oh, my God funny at all. I cried my eyes out. I fell right in between the sidewalk where the ice is. Oh, uh -huh. that hurts my back one time. It hurts my back so times that I bruised up my back and I end up uh -huh. going to school with a sore back. I'm like, Ugh. and my friends look at me like, what's wrong with you? I was like, I fell on the ice and it's it's not fun to sit there on the ground. It wasn't is, funny, but you know, I can't be falling down like that. Mm -mm. I ended up with a bruised back. I did. It ain't funny at all. And then one time I was getting to leave from my grandma's old apartment down the street from us. And you know, I was getting to leave and I fell right in the mud. My mom, she's like, the man is down, the man is down. I'm like, Mom, I'm okay. And then I had to come home, take off my blue coat, my blue uh, jean pants. I had to go change it because I was so muddy from top to bottom. I'm like, oh, gosh, what did I get myself into? <laughs> right. <sighs> Goodness me. There we go. That's quite cut. And I can cut these off. All right, Clint, I'm going to go and um, feed my cat. Probably she's going to be sassy at me when I walk out through the store. 
All righty. Thank you for coming in with me. You're welcome. Yep. Thanks for joining us, Erin. Take care. I will love you guys. Have a great day and you stay too. safe you for the coronavirus. Stay yep, stay safe. All right, love you guys. Love you too. Love you. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> Put that right back in your earlobe. There you go. Oh, got a crooked. <laughs> and you're welcome. Anytime you need me, just holler. Don't hesitate to come in. Get me. I heard him. <laughs> All right, there's the chocolate poop pillow boxes. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Hang on a second. Oh my gosh, those are so nice. Yellow boxes. Now, what are these? Chocolate biscuits. All right, I need to cut AO nine fourteen one fourteen one fourteen two. 14, 3, and 14, 4. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, Clint. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm thinking about getting a tripod for my uh I'm thinking about getting a tripod for after him. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Oh, I hate this netting on these flowers. Too many pieces. <laughs> Fun for everyone. We're gonna play all day. <laughs> You're funny, Clint. I know, right? Right. Right. <laughs> right. 
Hey, Ruby, I got a joke for you. Yeah. What, what do it? you call a nun? What do you call a nun in a blender? Oh, I know that one. Black coin, black coin, black coin. <laughs> no, a twisted sister. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, you. So somebody told me that joke and I started laughing. I was like, oh, I could tell that joke anytime. Yeah. I just thought these flowers, they smell pretty good. Oh. Yeah, a friend of mine sent me a sent me a big uh, Christmas present in the mail and I didn't know about it and I opened it. There was a bunch of stuff in it. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That was pretty cool. I guess so. Had these so flowers yeah. and uh Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Are you there, Ruby? I'm here. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Went. Hello. Can you all hear me? Hello. What the heck? Can you all Ruby? hear me, or, is it, or am I gone? <sighs> Can you all hear what me? Happened to my phone. Okay. Nobody can hear me. Nobody's saying anything. Yeah. Nope. Nobody says anything. I must be disconnected. Again. <laughs> Oh, it's Clint. So I am not disconnected, right? Good morning, Martha. Okay. I'm going to cut these up. Actually, get the 
was bent too a bit. Yeah, no problem, Martha. These are rabbit cookies. Too cute. Someone said to zoom in. I can't zoom in. I'm zoomed in as close as I can get, I think. Sure looks like it, though. There we go. That's it. Oh my god, this is so tedious, these ones. I've got nowhere to grab this to turn it. These are supposed to be bunnies, chocolate bunnies. One more. Whoops, now I can't see chat. Okay, I'm gonna have to get up soon. Sit long enough. There we go. Now, I probably plugged that up after I just cleaned it all. Go figure. I did. Yep.
Oh, jeez. And you are sounding. These are supposed to be cookies. Oh my gosh, they're so tiny. After this, I'm going to get up. And then I'm going to show you guys my houses that came in the other day from Zoo Lily. Get down. Done. Oh, no, I'm not done. display boxes for the chocolates. So freaking small.
and can chew. Dang it. There's that one. That's even tinier. Okay. Now this one gets the bunny rabbits. can't get these to stand up and there's her standing this one is going to give me There. Little tray of chocolate cookies. 
Oh, you're going to order a glue pot? Oh, not sure how those work, but what about when you have to put glue on lace? How are you going to dip your lace into the glue pot? There we go. Now this one's going to be nasty. And I'm going to wait for this one to get tacky. There. Now, I have a feeling these weren't going to stand up either. So what I'm doing is I put them on the, I put them on their sides because they're not going to stand up any other way. A whole thing of cookies. Wow. <laughs> Those were tiny, tiny, tedious things. Those are done. So cute. Now, I'm taking a little break. Oh, yeah. Color can be random with picture for reference only. So, whatever you say. I'll be right back. I'm taking a break. And when I come back, I'm going to show you guys the houses that I got in. Oh, I got to stand up. Really and truly got to stand up.
baby. Okay. There's Martha. Good morning, Martha. Morning. So how was your weekend? Very nice. Yeah, what did you do? What did you get accomplished? Clean my house. Well, that's not... That's an everyday thing. Yep. And we played some games. Oh, yeah? Like what kind of games? Computer games? Yeah. Okay, I got four of them in. I've seen some ASMR that I need for dipping flowers on my wreaths. It's great for that, Debbie. It works great for that. But as, as if I remember correctly, it's very shallow. It's only like maybe a half inch deep, if that. But it works great for that. Okay. Oh, morning, Jan. Hi, Jan. So, first of all, here's my winter sew sampler. It is called Flea Market by Lori Hole. This one, I ordered the finishing kit, and then I realized you need to buy the backing, so I don't have no backing. So I'll just use something I have. That is the uh, Greatest Hits card. Hmm. Right there. Anyway, it's a table runner. It's actually really nice and springy and bright colors. I think it's cute. The only thing is... And they even give you the thread or a filled thread that goes with these cut with this uh, line. Is it is a paper pieced, but it's super easy because it's just sewing four corners. <laughs> basically, basically snowballing the corners. And then there's this thing called Stay Sharp. Put this back. We'll check this thing out. I really like the notion that you get in these. This is these are what are super fun. Now this is a case that's See, supposed to hold, hold needles. It's magnetic. But what I like about it is I have a ton of needles here. Let me just move this stuff. Grab my needles. I have all kinds of needles here. And I just haven't had anywhere to put them, really. So this needle box is kind of neat because this is the mess of my needles. You see? Well, your needles are not a mess. They're not a mess. No, they're all in a little compartment and all in one spot. Yeah, so I could take them out of the packages. These are embroidery needles. See, I'm going to keep that because I want to know what the exactly these are. Same as these ones. I need these. These I ordered specifically for my um, um, snowman. This is what they recommend to use. So I, I ordered those for the snowman because you have to do some embroidery. So is that even going to close? Yeah. I could still fit more needles in here. These are one called quilting, quilting betweens. 
Now these came, these came in a so sampler box. So I did not order these for any specific reason. But I don't think my box is going to close. Yes, it is. And then this one here are really expensive needles. These are called Bowen uh, needles. And they, you've got in here, you've got long sharps, darning needles. You've got straw, tapestry, and embroidery. So this came in my sew sampler box too. And I looked these up. They are very good quality. And I believe these are made in Japan. Or no, where are these made? Maybe India. But I'm just going to leave these in the case. But see, these ones here were just loose needles. And, I, and look at how nice and neat my needles are now. Sandy says she loved betweens. She uses them when beading. Mm, these are way too big for beads to go through these ones. I could tell you that. The beads are not going to fit in those betweens. You could see how big the eyes are. And you need something that's got a small eye in it. Yeah, those are way too big. But anyway, these are really nice, nice sewing needles. That's a sewing needle case. So there's my sew sampler for um, December. My January one was just shipped because they were having problems with their suppliers getting everything in. So the boxes were really late this month. So this one is for Jeff. This one's called Jimmy Studio. I really like this because he has to make the computer chair. <laughs> and I think <laughs> it's so cute. It looks cute. I'll, I'll show you up close the picture. Oh, come on. This goes on super easy, but it does not come off easy. So. That is Jimmy Studio right here. Look at the computer chair. Cute. Look at Dog. the desk, though. The desk looks pretty cool. Yeah. So, look at this. All the pieces for the cabinet are all inside here. And look, even the paint, he gets to paint more paint. It came with uh, my favorite glue, which I'm taking out of here. Why? Because I keep all this glue separately. Yeah, but it's his glue. He needs it. No, he's still got a full bottle of glue over here he's using. Oh. Uh. Yeah, he's never going to use it all. And that came with white paint. Um, anyway, that's, that's Jimmy's studio. There's one. This one here is called Miss Dessert Ice Cream Stand. This one's an ice cream stand. Oh my goodness. That's cute. And it opens this way. It's called Ice Cream Station. Now, what I thought was really neat, this one came even with the freaking batteries for the lights. Uh, there's some more glue. This one, look at all the paints. Lots of pretty color paints. Or what is this? Any paint? What are these? Lots of wire. You got a kit. You got tweezers, paintbrush. Oh, geez, my dog is crouching at the door. I just came in and asked her if she wanted out. And there's all the pieces. Oh, my gosh. This one's going to be really pretty. I love the mint green. Okay, Tia. I got to go let her out. We'll let her out quickly. Yes. 
I don't know if you can hear her, but she is. No, we can't hear the scratch. Scratching like crazy at the damn door. I just was asking her if she wanted out, and she wouldn't go. Sandy and Debbie, what are you girls all doing today? And Jan, I woke up to about oh inch and a half to maybe two inches of snow this morning, and by the looks of it, it might be done for the rest of the day. I'm not sure, but I'm not going out anywhere. <laughs> I got plenty of leftovers in the refrigerator, and today I'm going to mostly oh, I should do laundry, and I'm going to finish working on my nails. I think my thumbnail I'm going to take and drill down and redo my thumbnail. My middle finger I'm not sure about yet. I do like the marbling. I might leave it. Work on the other hand. and Yesterday, I was feeling really tired. I wanted to take a nap. And uh, I had some packages I had to mail out. So I says, well, let's just go ahead and get that done because I was thinking oh the Coney Island place has BOGO Monday for Coney's <laughs> so it's like get your work done Martha and then you can have Coney's so I went and got me the post office done I went and got me the two Coney's plus I got a chocolate shake with chocolate ice cream and extra chocolate syrup in it <laughs> it was yummy and it's like Burr, I got so cold. It's like, okay, now it's time for a nap. <laughs> I don't even know what time I laid down. I ended up getting up at 7.30. I looked at the window and it was dark. It's like, oh, God, no. <laughs> I had to stay up. I stayed up. I even drank a cup of coffee last night. I did. I drank some coffee. Stayed up till 3.30. <laughs> took an hour to go to bed you know got to pet the cat and this and that and toss and turn so and then she woke me up at freaking 9 30 this morning i feel all right i feel okay 60s with lots of rain well lucky you sandy lucky you It wasn't really too bad out yesterday when I went to. Oh, there goes a neighbor shoveling. I ain't going out shoveling. And they put my, my new driveway they put in. They brushed it. So I've got all them little ridges, and I tell you what, that's going to be a pain in my butt to shovel. I have a lot of glue guns, but they all leak. Well, if they leak, they're working. No, we need to freeze. I don't want the bugs that come in the summer. <laughs> yeah, bugs. Oh, yuck. Right. Okay, maybe she's <coughs> a little bit now. Just maybe. We shall see. When all that rain comes, mosquitoes. Yep, now them. Yep. I okay. don't like mosquitoes. They love me so much. This one, look at the pretty box. This one is called Dora's Loft. Oh, look at the spiral. The staircase. Mm hmm. Not looking forward to that part, though, I don't think, because I think I have to make that with wire. Anyways, it's called Doors Loft.
died, I finally got her Christmas house. Oh, she did? Yeah. Nice. Got it sometime last week, I think. Oh, that's a big bottle of glue. Wow, look at the size difference. Huge bottle. So, lots of wire. Yeah, I got a feeling I'm going to be wiring everything. Oh, well, that's the fun of making these. Oh, well, you'll learn wiring. <laughs> Uh, wire wrapping. Oh, a, yeah, wire wrapping. Put a couple batteries of there. Gray paint, white paint. I do not know what this stuff is. I think it's. What is this stuff? Oh, look at a bottle with a cork in it. What is this stuff? It's not paint. I've got to find out what this stuff is. Bugging me. What is it? Milk bottle. It's clay. What's clay? Those packages. These. These are oh, all. Oh, what do you got to make out of clay? Yes, you got to make your own milk jug out of this. Oh, my God. That's going to be cool. It's really soft, too. It's Is it air dry clay? Yes, it's air dry because they show you putting a binder clip. Rolling this down and binder clipping it shut, but I'll just restick it in a Ziploc. But these are this is uh, air dry clay. That is so cool. I thought it was paint <laughs> when I first looked at it. But yeah, it shows you right here. It shows you making a milk jug. Right here, it says milk bottle. And if you look at it, you got to oh make it out of, out of the clay, and then it shows you binder clipping the package. Yeah. The air will dry it out. So that's that's pretty cool. That's going to be fun. Yeah, wrap it in cling wrap, and then put it in a zippy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the last one was this fruit stand, Carl's Fruit Shop. Oh, that one's cute. This one, I bet you I have to make clay again. Carrots. Do those look like they're clay? All right. Yeah, this one's called Carl's Fruit Stand. Oh, look at the carrots and the squash. Yeah, They're you got to make all that. And this one came with a huge bottle of glue. Wow. I'm excited about all that glue. That glue is bitch to find. Let's see. Do we have to make clay? Oh, my goodness. Look at the carrots are already made. And the bananas are. Whatever these are, are made. The carrots look like they've been painted with to get brown in them, and then you wipe them off. Right. Antique. Yes. And a pack of batteries. These are all the fruits. These beads. And they're holeless. These ones don't have holes in them. Lots of stamens. And some paint. Pretty cool. With these kits, you always get tools. You get the paintbrush, you get the tweezers. Like, I got a hundred pairs of tweezers now. Those little red berries. Oh my gosh, this is going to be fun. Okay, so 
There's the last four houses. Still some have not arrived yet. They're coming from AliExpress, so that'll explain why. They're coming from China. What is? The rest of my houses that I ordered okay. still haven't gone. I lost concentration there for a minute. Right now, um, our postal plant in Mississauga, Ontario, has 159 employees infected with COVID. Oh. That's our main distribution plant. So that's the main plant where all the, the custom stuff goes to is in Mississauga. So Gateway is in Mississauga, and that's our, our plant. And it's humongous. So 350 people were sent home to self-isolate for 14 days because they were around the people that got infected. So I could see that getting out of hand in the workplace. So, yeah. Pretty scary. This stupid COVID. Guys, I'm so excited about these glues that came in here. And at least they gave you big bottles of it. And for the bigger houses and smaller for the smaller houses. That's exciting. <laughs> I'm so pumped. <laughs> I excited over glue. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, because it's the good glue. It's my favorite glue. Why do I have those? What do they call it? Silly glue? Silly glue, yes. But these have no name on them. Yeah, but I just put... See, I got some still left in there. And I've done one, two, three houses already. And this is a full bottle because I just keep filling this one with the silly glue because I like the way it comes out in this bottle, in my art glitter glue bottle. All right. So there's my tiny little tray of cookies. This is so cute. Look at my little chocolate cupcakes, Sundays or whatever the heck those are. These are supposed to look like cushioned pillow top, cushioned chocolate bars. We get excited over things that really get, that really work well. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. <laughs> True crafter gets excited over glue. You're right, I do. Okie dokie. Now I gotta make two. I'm gonna use these beads. I know where my bead scoop is, so but I'll just dump these suckers out. I'll use my little shovel to pick them up when I need to. Okay, so I need three pieces of C16, two pieces, oh, two pieces of C16, yep, two pieces of those. I also need C16, oh, uh, G3. G2, G3, G1, G16, C16, G8, G1. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Now... What was I going to do? I was going to zoom in. That's as much as I could zoom in, guys. So, on this one here, Sammy's got to go clean up a mac and cheese mess. <laughs> uh, 
I need one, two, three, four, five white beads. Man, there was a time that I could not get enough of that macaroni and cheese. Last time I made it, which was a couple weeks ago, it's like I ate about half of it in two days and threw the rest out. I like I like putting real cheese in it too. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. Oh shoot. There is no glue there. We will put some glue there. But I did not want to do that. Hi, Linda. Oh no. Hi, Linda. Oh no. Come on. Ah! <laughs> Damn. Make them tweezers work, woman. Wow, I just made a mess of my dessert chocolates. Oh my goodness. Uh, why do I always do that? Linda, Linda, Linda. How are you, Linda? I know. I know what you're going to say to me. Oops. I don't want to talk about it. My bad memory. Okay, come on, beads. Stop being dicks. Let's use these tweezers. Oh, they're too fat. All right, next. Let's turn it around. Oh, shoot. My phone's beeping. Hang on. She says, I will not bug you, LOL. Love you to the moon and back, LOL. Hello? Hi, this is the Ashley Home Store calling. I'm just calling to let you know that your sofas have come in. Oh, God, yes. Oh, God, it's nice to hear a happy voice every once in a while now, especially since it's, everybody's waiting so long. Yes, but I mean, we, we were wait, expecting them to come in February. I think that's what she said. Oh, well, then they made a little bit of a jump upwards. They did? That's great. So when can they be delivered? Uh, so our next available delivery date will be Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Um, I'm going to say let's do it Saturday because that will give me time. My husband works during the week to move all uh, the other stuff out. Okay. So right now we have you in for a pickup here. Did you want to do a curbside delivery? That one is free. Or we have the full service delivery, which that does cost $99. We'll take the free curbside delivery. Okay. So I'll put you in there. And I'm sorry, you said uh, Saturday? Yes, yeah, Saturday will work. Because my husband can find someone to help him lift those couches. Oh, yeah, no problem at all. Are they heavy? Uh, they're a fair weight. They're not overly heavy to the point where I think you need like three or four people, but you definitely need two people. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So I put you in for a curbside delivery on Saturday. On Friday, you're going to get a call with a two-hour window for your delivery. Okay. And um, it's a robot that calls. So it'll be like, it'll just tell you that you got the two cell phones, and I can just press a number to confirm. Oh, how, how do I pay for them? So we can take a 
credit card over the phone, or we can take cash at the door. We just can't have anybody in the store at the moment. Okay, well, we can use debit at the door then, right? I can't use debit at the door. It has to be cash. Okay, well, then I'll... It's wired in. Okay, we will we'll just get the cash and bring it to the door. Okay, to your store good. door? Yes, so okay. just give us a call when you're outside and we'll come and unlock the door and grab your cash and then bring your receipt. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so I've got right. you all booked in for the 30th. Okay. And you could just come down here before then and pay that balance. Yep. That's perfect. Sure. How much is the balance? Thirteen thirty eight seven. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Oh my god, I'm excited. Okay, perfect. All right. That's Thank what we you. like to hear. Yeah, okay. great. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Jeff, can you hear me? This is exciting. My coaches are in. Yeah. That was Ashley's furniture. Uh-huh. Coaches are in. What? The coaches are in. No, no. Our coaches are in. Oh, so they come and stay? No. No. We have to go down there and pay cash only. They don't take uh, debit right now because the machine's wired in and because of lockdown, we're not allowed in the store. So they're coming Saturday and they're, they're curbside uh, delivery. Free. More, more work for Jeff. No, I'll help him carry those in. I helped them get the other ones out. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. So the mother couches that you have in there now, would they look out pretty good out on your patio? Um, they probably will. And what's really good about that is they come apart. So you lift the back off the arms to storm them, you know what I mean? So they're not yeah. left out all winter. Yeah. So I've decided I'm keeping them for the gazebo. Right. That way me and Jeff can spend more time out there. Last year we couldn't because those those summer chairs we've got are so extremely uncomfortable. It's not even funny. So he's uh we're just I'm just going to hold on to these couches, take them apart and uh just leave them Stored for the in Miku's room in the for the closet winter, yeah. for the winter and then put them outside in the summertime. Debbie says she's making a stove recipe box for a friend. Now, what is a stove recipe box? I have no idea, never heard of it. Oh, she's also had sleet and rain all night. Oh, fun! I woke up, Debbie, to a couple inches of snow. Which this is like the most snow we've got all winter. Truthfully. Oh, man. I'll be back. I got to roll some smokes. There is my little tray of chocolates. <laughs> How cute was that? <clears throat> So I need, ow, five gold. Five gold ones. Five black ones. And five white. Those are digging into me. Two, three, four, five. All right. That is not white. That one's a red one. That's white. <clears throat> All right. Let's put some glue on this one now.
I don't know how I'm going to use that black one. That one's no good. It just sticks. Oh, God, get off. Oh, man. Wow. Who said I wasn't beating? I'm making chocolates with beads. done there you go there is <laughs> chocolates with beads cute eh hello tracy let's put that down there now i believe oh my god i have to make lollipops hi tracy gotta make lollipops martha Oh, fun. With beads. That would be really fun. <laughs> I think so. Tiny little lollipop stick. Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, it's a piece of wire, to be honest. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. But I need to cut out. I have a scurry of squirrels out back. They are so cute. Okay, I got to look on. Uh... I've already made that box. Yeah. I went on the wrong side. Okay, so I need 1 and 15, 2. I need this. Holy 
macaroni at the tiny. Okay, I'm looking at Hmm. I'm looking for picks for a stovetop recipe box, but I don't see any. Let's see what Amazon's got, huh? It just has a lot of stove stuff. Yeah, so explain this one, Lucy. <coughs> Recipe organizers. Ooh. See a recipe journal. I need me a new recipe box. I don't even do recipes anymore. I just look online. It's oh, I've got like recipes that my mother made, and yeah, I'm not throwing that stuff away. No. Recipes I've written down. Right. Like homemade Kahlua. Yeah, I've, I've been around people that made that. Yeah, good stuff. Maybe a box that looks like a stove. That would be pretty cool. Oh, Jan says time's going back to work. Oh, really? Your lockdown is over, Jan? Ours is supposed to be done the first February 1st. I don't know when ours done. We just got 56 cases in one day in our district jail. Yeah, well, I'm thinking, oh, beer time. But you know what? I'm not going out on the 1st. Nope, I am not. That's if they don't extend it, right? Yeah, well, this has been the third or fourth time they extended it from one date. Yep. No, my son, Martha, he is well again. Oh, Linda says, I'm so happy my son goes back to work tomorrow. He is going home Thursday. God is good. Oh, good. Yeah. Go eat. Go eat. You go in the kitchen and eat. Lollipop. Lollipop holder. Linda says, us, one COVID, yay. Wow. And then she puts zero, what? Linda? We're getting COVID cases every day. Tons of them. <coughs> then we had 40, 43 of them, I think, were just in our district jail. Dang. 
I know a lot of people. A lot of people are coming down with a damn flu, and they're calling it COVID. Was it Kathleen Brant said she had a a fever of a hundred and two? It's like, well, that's like COVID, but it's probably just the flu. Right, Sandy, it's flu season. Sure is. Okay, that's done. Debbie said it is a video. What is a video, Debbie? Oh, wait a minute. I'm back. It's a recipe box made to look like an oven. Oh, uh, cute. Uh, it, that is cute. I need to see oh, that. Yeah. Okay. Let me go see if I can find it. A stove. Oh, spell it right. Oh my goodness! Is oh, okay. It's right here. I'll copy it. It's cute. I bet. Okay, Debbie. Oh, looking good. Looking good. Oh, my God, that is too cute. He's got hers done in, like, all of, uh, stainless steel, let's say. Very cute. Very cute. I'm going to have to see what else I got. Okay, that's the only one. And then the rest of it's all food. So let's just see. Recipe box. There. I filled it for full of glue. So when I stick the wire in, so which wire is that to cut out? All wood ones. Yeah. That's no fun. All wood ones. Oh, look it. And then there's a woman. It's crafting with Ruby live. <laughs> Under recipes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, I got it on recipe box, and you can scroll down, and then it's got you on there. <laughs> oh. I'm, you know what? That stove is pretty darn cute. I might even do that one myself. Oh, there's one box that you can kind of easel the top of it. I wonder if you could just set your recipe card on it. That'd be cute. I like the stove one, though. Uh, no other cute ones around. There's the stove one again. Oh, my God. 
Them would be so cute to make for Christmas presents. You know, it's only it's only so many days away. <laughs> okay, I'm done with that. What, Rube? Okay. <clears throat> now I need black. It would not survive my tornado cooking. <laughs> Plus, I can't stand stuff on the counter that I do not use every day. Well, Linda, you can always put it on the counter, use it, put it back. Yeah, they'd be cute to sell. I will have to go. Tracy says, sorry, Ruby, I will have to go. Not in a good place. I hope I speak soon, but I am going to be disconnected. No phone or internet tomorrow. Take care. Oh, Tracy, what's going on with that? Oh. I started chapping already for next year. <laughs> oh, this wire doesn't fit in these holes. Where? <laughs> Put it where? Uh huh. Come on. This wire doesn't fit in these holes. Hurry back, Tracy. Hurry back. No. Damn it. No. My glue is going to dry inside of that box. Yeah, this wire is not going to fit in any of them. Yeah, maybe if you strip it a little bit. I think so. The only way it's going to stick. What are you sticking it to? Uh, oh, for fuck's sakes. No. Dang it. These holes are not big enough. Why are you making lollipops? Yes. And these holes are definitely not big enough for the lollipops. So you need miniature drill bits. <sighs> yeah. You want to borrow mine? Yes. Okay. Please. Do you have a, I know what you could use. You got a um um a beading all. Yep. Diamond dust. That'll make them holes a little bit bigger. Wow. Some of them are short, long. Why did they tell me to cut these like this? I don't like how short that is. Lollipop, lollipop, oh la 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 lollipop. Ch -ch 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 -do -do -do. Meow. I guess it could be beating while I'm sitting here. 
I got action police of com what and now Sissa's involved what stay safe and take care everyone thank you so much for being loyal friends it means a lot I got action F R S U D police of come and now CISA's involved. What is CISA's? Don't know. Jan says, Ruby, I want one of Jeff's egg, and egg, bacon, and cheese English muffins breakfast time. Yeah, he's not home or he would make you one. He really would. Ceases. Maybe she's trying to say something about um, Ceases. I'm thinking the Child Protective Services. I don't know. No, oh, CI, CIA maybe? Or CSI. That's Crime Scene Investigator, Linda. I don't think she would have CSI there. Fraud. Police. Oh, Tracy. What the hell is happening there? Hey, Cynthia. Chaos. CIS. <laughs> Darn it. Why did it do that? It involves CIS. Frick. Frick DK. I looked up on Bing. What 2K? Does Tracy live in the UK? Yes. Let's see a U. I'm trying to think of what letter she could use in What the hell is happening to Tracy? Alternative dispute resolution provider approved by Avcon to resolve disputes related to communication and internet services. Someone added programs on my internet. Someone used my late husband's email, went online, and mounted a bill of 364. Oh, my God. <sighs> Tracy. Well, hope they can resolve it. Yes. Wow. Wow. How could someone add programs to your internet? What, anybody else using your internet? Hey, Rhonda. Ruby is making lollipops, if anybody knows. A scary world. Well, somebody had to be, I mean, for, yeah, you never know. You never know. Yeah, 
Ghosts in the Machine. I've seen the movie. I know it all about it. <laughs> Damn. One thing after another for poor Tracy. Oh, man. I don't think she ever gets a break. <laughs> Not lately, no. So Sunday I went live, Ruby, and I did acrylic nails on my left hand. Oh, you did? Yeah, and the only one that looks good to me really is my index finger. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Why? What do you mean, why? Why do you say that it's the only one that looks good? Because it's the first time I've ever done acrylics, and oh. I think the ring finger or the index finger. I started with the pinky. The pinky don't look half bad, but it's piled high with acrylic. <laughs> yeah, that I can't stand when acrylic's piled high. Yeah. Um, the ring finger really ain't too bad, but I think what it is that I don't like is that the nail... Um, tips are a little too wide. I should have uh, filed them down a little bit more, but yeah. So I'm going to get in there today and my thumb, I, my thumb is so high <laughs> with acrylic on it. I'm going to grind it all down and redo it. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. But it's the fun of learning something new I've never done before. Yeah, you'll get it, though. Yeah. And then I like acrylics, and I like decorating nails, as you know. And it's like, you know what? Time to do it myself. Yes. So what do your new couches look like? They're really nice. Nice and big and fluffy. Fluffy! We like fluffy. All right. So well, what colors? I mean, what do they look brown, like? Brown. Chocolate brown. Chocolate brown? Yes. Ooh. What do you mean, ooh? Well, I did have a fluffy cut chocolate brown when me and rodney were married and boy i tell you what it was the best couch to sleep in because it was fluffy i mean it was furry it was a nice set there we go there's my suckers Ooh. wow she's got suckers people she's got suckers look i had to make those damn suckers okay they were not fun and they just tipped right over well, miniatures. Yeah. Holly Mae, you can go in there and eat your food. I just well, I've got leftover meatloaf. I've still got egg roll or shrimp egg rolls I made up, but I have I didn't cook it all. So I'm going to have that for lunch today. What a great idea. Yeah, with homemade ragoons. I love ragoons. What are ragoons? Pour the cream trees and shrimp into the dough at the Chinese place. You've never had ragoons? Never even heard of them. Oh my goodness, you're missing something good. Okay, well, 
Sounds good to me. Now, this is G F G. We need more silver beads. Well, needs to go back. Making sketty and meatballs for dinner, Linda says. One, two, three, four, five. Andy's son filled her coffee jar up. Not your coffee mug, or you got a jar. I love the original anime of Ghost in the Machine. Martha, my son is connected to my pewter, and he can go in and change things so it's possible. Well, I'm just saying um, there's people smart enough to be able to hook into your computer and change things. So... Either she had people come in and played with her computer that she didn't, shouldn't allow. I don't think anybody should have anybody play with their computer, period. I don't care if it's your son, your grandkids, whatever. Because uh, Polly, her Dick's grandkids used to come in and play on there and there would be so many things they added on or did whatever, and she'd have to take it off and redo everything. It's like, don't let them on your computer anymore. That's my opinion. And I'm sticking with it. You can drink your coffee from a mason jar. Oh, poor Tracy. We feel for you, honey. We really do. Yeah, using her internet. No, they saying it was hacked, and I got to prove it was not me. Well, you got to prove it was disconnecting not me. you. They should wipe that bill. IP address will be definitely the way they can check that. I mean, all they got to do is ask her a question. Do you, do you know how to do so-and-so? You know, a lot of us, a lot of us are computer illiterate. I mean, we know how to open it up, turn it on, and do our daily functions. But I mean, to actually get in to some program that we have no idea that we even know how to get into. You know, there's simple ways to taste test for that. No, I haven't let anyone on my computer. It was an outside source. All right. Yeah. See what I'm saying, Linda? I mean, I wouldn't. You know, you see these people hack into the government stuff and all this. I, do, I would have no idea even how to do that. I can't even type fast enough to write my own name in two seconds. Well, let me see. Ah, see? I couldn't even do it right. Martha. <laughs> New nail. Nails, too. It's like, oh, boy. Got to learn everything all over again. I had a four-digit PIN number, and it still happened. Oh, they have gadgets where they can just 
Yeah, I watch too many movies. I know what they got out there. They got gadgets around. You know, who even would have thought to make a plastic thing to go over the gas pump to read your card, and that night they could come back and take that off? Who could think of things like that except bad people? Yeah. <laughs> Linda says, I do not have a 21st century brain. LOL, it does not compute. <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> right. I have no freaking idea how to hack into anybody's stuff. Me either. Guess I was never a good hacker growing up. Well, the only thing I learned how to do when I was growing up, my dad made my mom, because my mom did, she played with clay too, and she did a, she did a couple good things with the clay. So my dad took a cotter pin and ground half of it off for a tool for her to use. Well, I got a hold of that tool and I went around and I learned how to um, undo locks <laughs> around the house, you know, the camper and the back door and. Yeah. Sandy says, I had a scam come up saying I need to call a number or my computer would be locked. I called the number and they wanted remote access to my computer. I told them to F off and hung up. Good girl. Yep, that's what you do. Yep. <coughs> they said I told them it was my stepson and never had a conversation with one of the 17 members. What? They said I told them. We got Google Home for Christmas, and son just got it hooked up. We tried and failed. <laughs> All right. I got a Lexus sitting over there, and I still ain't hooked it up. Yeah, we got one, too, and we haven't hooked it up. We've had it for two years. My kids bought it for Jeff for Christmas a couple years ago. <laughs> Took him 10 minutes. Yeah, well. Now, like when I go to move furniture around, I got to unhook all, you know, the the DVR and the VHS and the DVD. And then, oh, my God, it's going to take me a half hour to put it all back together. She never spoke to anyone to even think about telling them it was in her it was her stepson. All the education we paid for is working in our favor. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, send them grandkids to school. Yes, Sandy, I still have a VHS. Because I still have VHS movies. And I also got one up north, too. I got a lot of VHS movies I took up north.
What do you call this thing I'm making? Popsicle? No. I don't know what you're what you're making. One of these. A banner. Yeah, but there's a name for these. Yeah, what is um what are they called? Um mixed up craft makes a lot of them. Yeah, they have a, I forgot what they're called. How many? Linda says my daughter is a therapist, but not ethical for her to fix me. <laughs> not ethical for her to fix me. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I wish I had one. I have at home movies, but no way to watch them. Oh, Sandy. If you want one, a good place to go to probably buy one would be a pawn shop. Make them plug it in and make sure the movies work. Plug it in. Plug bunting. It in. Bunting flags. Bunting, yes. I think that's what they call it. But, you know, in my world, a bunting is like wrapping your baby up in a blanket. That's bunting. Yeah. Oh, flea markets, yes, flea markets. Buy bunting blankets. Right. Mm -hmm. So how do you get a bunting out of a, yeah, I don't get it. Oh, look at the little counter. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I made it. it. Said, yeah. Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah, I got a lot of VHS Disney movies. And I think it's time that you uh, go eat your food. But you're going to sit here and cry until I actually give you the bag. Here, here's the bag. Why don't you open it? You open it. Don't rub your chin on it. Just open it. Oh. How cute is that? They wrap around things so they are bunting like a blanket. That is so cute. The little things in life. Now I gotta put everything in here. So in here, in here, get stuff. Other tray. Bunting. Wikipedia. Let me see what it means. Bunting or bunt is a festive decoration made of fabric or of plastic paper or even cardboard to imitation of fabric. Typical forms of bunting are strings of colorful triangle flags and lengths of fabric and colors. All right. Uh, bunting was originally a specific type of lightweight worsted wool fabric, generally known as tammy. <laughs> Manufactured in the turn of the 17th century. Well, it didn't even say nothing about wrapping a baby up. So maybe bunting for a baby is not what we thought it was. I had a kitty that would open her own tender vittles pack when she was hungry. 
Well, Holly May won't do it, and she'll sit here and bug me, so I might as well give her some. It's afternoon anyway. What time did you wake me up? 9.30. Yeah, she says. Oh, go snowplow. Go snowplow. Go snowplow. And what happened to the other bracelet? Hey, Clint, where are you? I think this was. I've been making anklets for my cells. That one fit. Just right. Fits just right. Okay. So we shall make it that long. Oh, still got a ways to go. Ways to go, ways to go. Uh, it tastes better when Mama gets it for her. <laughs> All right, LOL, LOL. What in the world was that? The neighbor started his car. That was his car? <laughs> that <Yes>. sounded sick. <laughs> what do I need now? There we go. It is full of chocolates. Wait. Do you see? Oh, cute. But I'm going to get going because I've got to go feed the birds. I didn't let Niku out of his room today. Because he pissed me off. Yeah, why'd he piss you off? Because he just screams a lot. And so tomorrow I have to, to make my cart. Oh, my God, that's going to be exciting. Your cart? Has it got roller wheels on it? Yeah, look. It's like an old-fashioned wagon. It's a tea oh. cart. Cool. Yeah. So that's all I've gotten done so far, all this cabinet. I'm going to turn my overhead light out because that's, it just puts a glare on this shiny paper. So that's, that's the, the cabinet. Oh, neat. Well, what'd you use for the handles? Those are tube beads. Oh, okay. Yep. And then there's the, there's the, uh. Oh, that looks scrumptious, actually. I love the lollipops. <laughs> yeah, the lollipops turned out pretty good. Yeah. And the chocolate sundaes in the back there. Oh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. And then the pillow boxes that you had to make. Look, with chocolate bars, those are little tiny chocolate bars on it. <laughs> oh, we darn. Yeah, so these are cute. That's going to be so, I love the colors. But I'm going to go, guys, if you're okay with that. I'll see you okay, guys. Fine. Yes. Everybody have a good rest of your day, and we will all see you soon again. Well, take care, everybody. God bless. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. I started early today, by the way. That's why. Ah, yeah, you've been on uh, almost three hours. I started, I think, just shortly after nine. Yeah. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye.